Greetings and salutations, welcome to episode 123, and welcome to Mediocrity. So we've played a couple of games, uh, winnable games, and we drew them both. Um, Aston Villa, bottom of the league, we played pretty well, uh, just didn't find a way through. They played very defensively, uh, they didn't have a shot on target, we just didn't create enough chances really. A um, bit disappointed with that. But we did have a couple of good chances that we just we should have finished and it would have been okay. But we went on to play, and they were 20th in the league. We then went on to play Bournemouth, who are just below mid-table, I think. And they came out of the great gates like a greyhound on crack. I, just ridiculous. They had about six shots in the first ten minutes. Both my their goal scorers were, are my ex-players. We've got Axel Bigot, who we had for a season and then sold on to Derby, who then sold on to Bournemouth. Um, scoring a goal, doing really well for them this season. And Twan ZB, who's our centre-back for, for a couple of seasons, was it? Yeah, two seasons, £9 million. Um, he was a decent player and uh, been doing well for Bournemouth. So they, they struck early and then we spent the rest of the time trying to get back into the game. And the Greek rescued us with two fantastic goals. Uh, we sh could have should have put, pinched a winner, but after going 2 nil down that early, I was happy to take the draw. So I'm still sort of semi-confident in our ability. We're undefeated for seven now. So we're going into the FA Cup game against Blackburn. And I'm hoping we can just do the business, really. Um, we've completed the signings. We're at Blackburn. I thought they were, yeah, mid-table. Okay, so they're only actually six points behind us. So they're not a bad team. This might be a bit trickier than we thought. Um, we've completed the signings uh, that we're all going through. I can't even remember what was happening last time, so I'll just show you them. So we got rid of um, Sharanton, who was the first to go for 12 million. Xavi went for a disappointing 11 million, but like I said, didn't need him. We you know he's no good. He's playing well for Liverpool. I knew he's he's a good. He's obviously a very good player, but I just wanted to get a new defender in. Uh, Galezi went for five point five to River Plate, and, and some youthy went on loan to Crew. And we bought in Youssef Ben Buteleb. Buteleb, yeah, That's, that we'll go with that. Just an absolute solid defender. Absolute brilliant. I think he's going to be. Um, there's a couple of little areas, but his physicals are amazing. His, the main technical stats are, are superb. Some of his mentals are a little bit low, but I, th I still think 23 years old, he's going to be a superb player. And um, He's played a couple of games now, 6.7. He doesn't speak English, um, so we're not going to rush him into the squad too quick because you do need to sort of communicate. It's quite an important thing um, to be able to do. I'm actually going to play Carballo. I'm going to give Emre Chan a go at centre-back. We know he's very good everywhere, really. Um, plays perfectly fine at centre-back. Balanta can back on. Balanta really dropped in for me. He had a couple of horrific games. He's been uh, dropped for a couple of games now. Uh, the Afro up front, the Greek just behind him. They're, they're the dream team at the moment. Griezmann, as this central midfield player, is playing superbly well. Absolutely 7.64 in the five games that he's played at central midfield. Very happy with that. So let's get straight into it. Let's smash some Blackburn ass. Let's do it. Let's do it. We are favourites for the game. Quite big favourites. Uh, Bakayoko is not playing. That's, that's a shame. They're going for a 4 4 1 1. Not a problem. Um, eat their words. Oh, we're back to that, are we? You know, we're not playing well when we have to say that as a team talk. Eat the words. Like Guerrero. Kick off highlight. Why am I commentating? Let's not. Right, can we just not let in any early goals, please? That would be lovely. Yeah? Just keep a clean sheet. Ten minutes. That Bournemouth game was scary. They could have scored four or five goals in that first 15 minutes. All right. Okay, good. We rode it out. We're playing well. Even got a decent amount of possession. Loving it. Nobody's dead. Everybody's ratings at all right. Guerrero back always at up to seven. Oh, I gave Guerrero a new contract, and it's got a fifty-five million pound release clause. Go on, go on. Oh, that's a penalty. That's got to be a penalty. Yes. Which, like, if you had any sane manager in the world would pick up Guerrero in a flash. He is an immense player. For 55 million, that's a bargain. It was one of those non-negotiables, so I couldn't do anything about it. His previous contract had a 56 million, so it's gone down a million. <laughs> like, come on, Aya. Come on, big man. 
Oh, come as you like. Keeper didn't move. He knew there was no point in moving. 1 0. Loving it. I like a cheeky FA Cup this season. That'd be amazing. Look at this. Keeper's like, nah, fuck it. Like, come on, boys. The FA won that penalty. I like the way it counts as an assist there. Right, we'll see Emery Chan at centre back is an important one to look out for. Greek's taking a knock. Is he going to be able to run it off? And the good thing is, if if the Greek's out, we we could just move a uh, Griezmann to the attacking midfield role. Not a problem. Um, Seventy-one percent. It's, it's okay. It's not the worst. I'm going to say no. I'm going to just say keep it up. Their mood is a little bit fragile at the moment, my players, so I don't want to piss anyone off. That's a great ball. Uh, cuts out Carballo. Right, let's get a second goal. They've barely had a kick of the football. Come on, boys. Not the most exciting game of football in the world, is it? I might get a Greek off. He's down to 65 now. Do we want Gareth Bale? Of course we don't want Gareth Bale. Um, we're going to go for Der Holtz, but then we'll switch with Griezmann can go there. Arsenal came in for a cheeky bid for old um, Gomez again. They've been looking, tracking him for a couple of years now. They fuck off. Took me ages to get Gomez. You're not having him. Come on, let's have another highlight. Let's have another goal. Well, this is. Uh, I'm glad you all tuned in for this one. It's a classic. Oh, whoo. Um, give Cody Stokes five minutes. We got a text. What does it say? It's a comment. Oh, oh, it's a rude comment. I've just got a rude. Um, you're retarded, was my comment. That's it. That's good. Thanks for that comment, sir. God bless the internet. Uh, I love. I'm, I'm a member of a, a forum called YT Talk, and the Goodwin Boys, nice, comfortable, um, and it's basically a place for YouTube creators just to chat, learn about its stuff, learn about each other, learn new techniques and stuff like that, get better at YouTube. It's really good. If you have a YouTube channel, I'd suggest joining it. Um, YTTalk.com, I think it is, and um, you. Every day there's posts on there, people going, Monk angry at losing today. Every day there's people going, Oh, I got a really rude comment on my video. Oh. And anytime somebody goes, Look, you know, I've been making videos for two weeks and somebody said I was shit and now I want to cry in the corner. I'm always like, Don't do YouTube, mate. Don't do YouTube. Because even if you are the most talented, funniest, best YouTuber in the world, you're going to get a load of hate because it's the internet. I said it's only ever going to get worse, but I, I think I've because I'm older. I think I just it I, it just makes me laugh. I had a comment saying I shouldn't breed once. I shouldn't be allowed to breed, which was yeah, interesting choice of words. Right, fifth round draw. Should we have a sneaky peek? Go. No, thank you. Oh, that's a biggie. Yeah, I'll take Cardiff. No. Okay, Derby. I'll take Derby. No, actually, no, no, shit. They're really good now, aren't they? Oh, Carlisle. Oh, probably Crystal Palace. Man City. I'll take Fulham. Oh, come on. Oh, Barnet. Give me Barnet. Come on, Barnet. Ah, oh, tits. We're going to get Arsenal, aren't we? We're going to get Arsenal. Newcastle. Okay. Could be worse. We're at home. Oh, I so wanted Barnet, though. Tottenham Man United would be a good good game though. Oh we're playing him. Hello, hello Newcastle. Well uh, this will be a test then. 
Right, here is two very winnable games. We're playing against, at home against the struggling Newcastle and then away to a shit Sheffield Wednesday. Bottom of the league Sheffield Wednesday. Nine points. They've only won one game this season. Mind you, sorry Aston Villa when we drew against them. So we won't count our chickens. Right. But we should we should win this game. The form has been a little, little, little bit shaky. Um, how did old Emre do last game? 6.7. It's not it's not spectacular, is it, Emre? We'll give you another go, though. I don't want to rush Boutaleb in. I need, him, I need him to speak some words of English. It's quite important when you're having to talk to two other centre-backs. Um, who wants the Afro? Chelsea and Roma. Fuck off. Fuck right off. And Der Holtz, Man City. Oh no, it's Chelsea now. Okay, here we go. Straight into it. No messing about. Tactics stays the same. Formation, all the same. Griezmann. Oh, they're, oh, they're just going to keep telling me this now, aren't they? He's a fucking central midfielder, you knobhead. Do your fucking research. He's devious. He's personal. I've never seen that before. He's devious. Oh, I am devious. Um. I'm just going to keep saying that. He must have... Okay, uh, yeah. I guess we must have lost last time. Good, we've, we've got our team talk sorted. Then where's where's our revenge? We owe. We owed them. Smash them, you slags. Right. Oh, what a dribble. What a dribble. Erdal. Back to Rangel. Back to Erdal. Oh, it's like Barcelona-esque here. Huang Hu Hu. And they lost it. And he managed to foul him. Excellent. Right, comfortable, please. Comfortable victory. Put our chances away. First off, we need to get the ball. Can we have the ball, please? We have 24% possession. Okay, we're up to 29. Here we go. Guerrero with the throw in right from the corner post. Afro dinks it. Leper, hit one, hit one, Leper. Oh, come on, my son. The Greek floats one way to the back post. Manlas heads it on. Oh, that's beautiful. And Carl Ballow gets his first for the club. Second for the club. Bollocks. Second of the season for Carl Ballow. Manlas, what a header, son. He's still a legend. Manolas is one of my favourite players of this series. He's been just so solid. And he did so well to get this header and hit it, but get it back into the play. Oh, that's stunning. Beautiful goal. And don't score many from corners. Right. It's Newcastle on the attack, but it's been cut out lovely by Carballo. He's having a very good game so far. Chambers, lovely first touch. Oh, it just drifts past that man, but lets him catch up because he's, you know, he, he does want to be rude. Emre, don't do anything stupid. Keep it simple. Leper, keep the ball. Nice. Emre, what's he doing? Plays it short to Griezmann. Can he find a peach of a ball? That's decent. The Greek, is he going to thread one? He is threading one. He's threaded it. Oh, and the Afro puts it away. The dream team linking up again. The Greek Afro. The Grafro. The Afro. Afrique? No, it's not working, is it? Look at that ball from the Greek. It's beautiful. Keeper stood no chance whatsoever. And it's 2 0. 20 minutes gone. All the play. Loving life at the moment. Oh, somebody injured? Oh, no, it was them. Don't worry, it was them. Loki, shut the fuck up, dude. Byram, got to be wary of Byram. We know how good he is from our lead save. The Afro now. The Greeks made a good run. Oh, that's a dirty Huang Q hole. It's a dirty tackle. <laughs> it's not even a yellow. It's not even a yellow. What is the world coming to? Right, he's got options on this right hand side and he's going to use him. Lovely ball floated over to Chambers. Chambers just dinks one in. That's pretty poor. Griezmann plays it out to Guerrero. On the, oh, he's just oh, he's done him for fun there. Oh, it's a great goal. Oh, that Guerrero touch there. That defender's just walking off. So fuck this shit. 
3-0 before half time and we are looking deadly. Look at this, the way he beats him is like, show him it, show him it. Oh, you can't have it. <laughs> now throw. Long almost gets a hand to it. Not quite strong enough. 3-0 before half time, boys. Um, do we give somebody some game time? Yeah, let's give Bootleb some game time. That'd be perfect. For Emre. And Yalsin can get some game time. We should be alright. We should just better glide through to the finish now. I'm not too bothered if we didn't score any more goals. But no injuries, please. And uh, tidy little 45 minutes for the new guy. Right, Chambers. Interesting head on there. Hopeful. We're going to get that Leper. Make it Leper. Lovely. Keeping the ball so well. Why do I say those things? Why do I say those things? Grr. Can then we go 90 minutes without oh, them having a shot? I swear the game knows. It's because I'm recording my voice. The game can hear me. And it's going, oh, no shots, eh? We'll show you. One. There. Boom. So, 30 minutes left. Corner for the Greek. Flicks it to the near post, headed away, but he's going to get another chance. There's men on the edge of the area if he can use someone. Yalsin's got a goal in it, we know he has. Plays it back to the Greek, though. Dinked in from the Greek. Afro, oh, should have been a simple finish. Goalkeeper read it well. Half an hour left. They've had two shots now. This is getting ridiculous. Can't concentrate. <laughs> 15 minutes left. Uh, fuck it. Go on, GB. Stand well back, people. It's the Welshman. Go on, Gareth. Just ping one in. Just All we want to see is one wand of a left foot goal. Right? Free kick, that would be cool as well. You can do nothing for the rest of your Bolton career. Just, just do this one thing for us, yeah? Let's see some of that magic. Let's not pretend for a while that you just came here for a paycheck before you retire. Okay. We're forcing them back. Okay, they do know they're 3-0 down, yeah? Okay, just like a check. Oh, what a bit of play from Newcastle here. Oh, and we've intercepted it straight away. Yalsin pounces on it. Griezmann. Can he find GB? There he is. Watch this. Oh, cheeky. That was the worth the admission there. Lovely ball in. Oh, the defender's missed it. Oh, that's a fantastic save. Long has kept this scoreline down. He's made two, three good saves. But we are running rampant. Like rabbits. Like a rampant rabbit. Twenty shot. <laughs> so I feel like we should maybe have scored more. But we'll take it. That'll do. Blow up ref, put them out of their misery. Comfortable 3 0 victory. Absolute superb performance. Bodes well for the cup as well. See you in a couple of weeks, buddies. Yes, yes, we're back into the Europa League. Stop telling me every time we move up and down. <laughs> right. Lovely stuff. Let's have a look. So, when are we playing Newcastle again? There, so that's good. So, Sheffield Wednesday, away. Easy, easy beats, hopefully. Then... Manchester United is is the game. So we are look we're closing people. We are fucking closing the gap. We were twelve points behind. Now we're six. If we can beat Man United, we we're still in with this. I'm not giving up on this yet. Still got plenty of time. We just need to put carry on this run. Alright? Just carry on this lovely green dottage. Uh, Reading of Saturday manager, the Afro's man of the match because he's the Afro, he's the Afro, look at all the green arrows as well, he's so good, it, am I his favourite person now, I, I should be, yes he loves me, <laughs> I'm like the father he never had, it's beautiful, <laughs> I think we should end it there, I'm welling up a bit, alright, so thank, thanks very much for joining me. I love you, Afro. Love you. Bye.